You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're here with me, <laughs> Expediting America. Welcome back to another episode of Expediting America. Sorry it's been so long since I posted an episode, guys, but we have been on the go. And when you're doing three to 5,000 miles a week, you don't really have much time to do anything but drive and sleep and eat. Hey. So here goes another episode. Thank you for tuning back in. Hey. <laughs> I definitely did not expect that. All right, let's get to it. Love it when it's fast like that. All right, everybody. So here's the deal today. We are in Kansas City, Missouri. We've been here since Saturday. It is now Tuesday. Um, it's been, you know, a good few days off, just chilling, relaxing, cooling, shooting some b ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's get loaded up here. Let's uh, see what we got going. You know about how much longer? Don't know. Uh, it's an expedited shipment, so. We have it every day, so I don't know. All right. We're heading to Newark, California, which is an 1,808 mile trip. We had 10 miles of deadhead, and the job is paying pretty decent. I'll post it at the end of this video with all the expenses and everything taken out. So stay tuned for that. I could have had something yesterday on Monday. I passed up on it like a big dodo, thinking I was going to get something later in the day because it was early. Um, they offered it to me. It was going down to Dallas, paying like $1.10 a mile. I should have taken it, but it had a lot of deadhead. It was like 110 miles of deadhead, all included in the trip and everything, so it's not bad. But my dispatch let me know that there was another driver in the area, one of the people I hooked up with our dispatch team that was the owner-operator, Ernesto, and uh, I let him get it. Um, just because it was early in the day, I thought I was going to get something later on, being it's a Monday. And, uh, you know, just never know. But I found out, and I didn't get anything. So we hunkered down one more night here in Kansas City, and then we got a load today. And uh, if we leave now, it's an 1,800-mile trip. Today's Tuesday. I mean, we're going to get there by Friday. Hopefully get something... Um, in the morning on Friday and get out of California in a dream situation it would be a long trip 3,000 miles cross country back over to the East Coast and paying over a dollar a mile so we'll keep our fingers crossed we'll say our prayers and uh, we'll see where God leads us but until then y'all stay tuned we'll see what happens peace oh yeah and how can I forget if you haven't done it yet please hit that like button if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop videos. All right, so we've been waiting, coming up on uh, almost three hours, two and a half hours right now. And uh, we already got a, a layover of $100. So that's good, but I'm trying to get out of here. Let's see what's up. <laughs> Got any idea about how much longer? Thirty minutes. Sign there, and then sign down there, please. All right. And then sign here. Yes. Those 
Y'all want me inside? So we just got the approval from dispatch. It's currently um, 7, 10. So we've been here since 4 o'clock, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's three hours. They ended up giving us a layover, so I really can't complain. But it's time to hit the road. We don't really have much time to spare. They want us there Thursday by 10 a.m., and we could definitely do that. So we're going to hit the road, 1,800 miles to go. Catch you all on the other side. Peace. Uh, so before I left the receiver, I checked the Upside Gas app to see if there's any cheap gas around or any good discounts. In this Casey's gas station, it's $4.28 a gallon for diesel, and I'm getting $0.25 cents off, so it's $4.03 a gallon here uh, for diesel. It's really good uh, right now, so I'm definitely going to take this. If you guys want to help me out, uh, other than just watching and supporting that way, you can go on to uh, the description below. And click the link for the Upside app and download it using my code. And then you'll find discounts everywhere. Look at that. 12 gallons. So that's $3 in savings right there. Come on, guys. Don't be sleeping on this Upside app. Go ahead. Go in the description below. Use my code. Click the link. And uh, start saving today, guys. Help me out, too. It helps me save more. So every gallon that you use the app for... I get a penny for it so imagine all you guys started using this how many like dollars i would save in gas i get free gas every day but uh until then i'll keep dreaming hoping you guys use the link i think i'm gonna do uh six hours tonight maybe stop around 1 a.m sleep till 6 a.m get five hours of sleep drive from 6 a.m to maybe 10 p.m and maybe have a few hours left over for the next morning uh or maybe finish it off tomorrow night it just really depends i don't got to be there till uh thursday morning and I don't think they'll receive me late at night tomorrow. So um, we'll see how the night goes and we'll go from there. How's that sound? And by the way, I'm wearing this glove, a uh, little expediter tip. Get a glove because these, uh, these pumps are nasty. In most cases, these pumps don't get cleaned on a daily basis or nothing. So buy yourself a glove and you never know when you're going to have to use them anyways. somewhere in the middle of Nebraska I know that just taking a break here letting him do his thing I don't know how I'm out here in a long sleep but it's 30 degrees out all right so we're gonna go ahead and call it a night we're about two hours from the Wyoming border got about 20 hours about 20 and a half hours left in the trip I'm gonna try to knock out 16 tomorrow and finish off Thursday morning with maybe like four hours or so But yeah, that's it for tonight. Bubba Joe's on guard. Bubba Joe's still on guard. <laughs> it's 
just wanted to show you guys what we got rocking over here to stay warm in the back. This is what they call a diesel heater. And uh, this is the control unit right here. And what it does is it goes down. And I don't know if you can see it, but um, this is behind the passenger seat underneath Bubba's bed. The diesel heater is in there and it comes out of there into a pipe that goes into this one and it comes out there. So that's, that's hot air coming out right there. And uh, it keeps me really warm back here. So I got my blanket. There's the freight. Bubba Joe's ready for bed. Bubba Joe, you ready to go? Oh, good stretch. You ready, buddy? Good morning, everybody. Let's do it. Good morning, rise and shine. Hope everyone's having a great day today. We're on the move once again. We went to bed last night around 3 a.m. Slept till about 7.45 a.m. So we got almost five hours of sleep, which is pretty good. Right now, if we go straight through, stop for gas, of course. We can get there about 3 a.m. But I think we're going to go to sleep around midnight and then uh, wake up around possibly five or six in the morning get another five or six hours of sleep and uh, finish off the trip get there about 9 a.m. so for those wondering about the diesel heater I know it was nighttime I couldn't really show you here's a picture of it right here um, it's a very small device and what it does it siphons out diesel from the gasoline tank of the van and it uh, turns it into a small fire and it, and it takes the, the heat from that fire and it pretty much shoots it out at a high rate with a fan uh, out of the small device into the tube and into the back of the van for me. Uh, it's not a relatively expensive add-on. I would say maybe 500 bucks with installation. There's an exhaust and everything, so there's holes that gotta be drilled. Uh, some of the vans actually come with them. A lot of vans already have them if you're gonna buy one used. But yeah, they, they can get pretty hot. Definitely useful in the winter time. And it doesn't take much gas. I'd probably say I can have it run all night and it takes maybe a tenth of my gas tank. Which I think is pretty fair.
like it's snowing. All right, so we're here getting our last tank of gas, uh, 5.48 a gallon here in Nevada. Uh, we got about five hours left, and the past five, six hours was grueling. It was wild, guys. I mean, we started our journey in uh, Kansas City, 55 degrees and sunny. And uh, last night, it was zero visibility, seven degrees and snowing. So it didn't really let up until we started to get out of Utah and uh, just thankful we're good we're safe hopefully the rest of the trip's not too bad the sun should be coming up soon and we're gonna be right on time uh, drop off is gonna be about 9 50. i should get off this video now and go ahead and just get back to work so i'll catch y'all at the receiver peace and shine in California. paperwork in there make sure everything's good then we can unload and go to the dog park all right I got two pallets in the Sprinter van. You're in the van, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you pass by the roll up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go park right, like right next to the wall right there. Okay. And I'll go back. Thank you, bro. I cannot wait to get unloaded and take a nap. Take Bubba Joe to the dog park, of course. But then after that, I'm passing out. What do y'all make here? Uh, that works for uh, Tesla. For Tesla? Yeah. Oh, that's dope.
Let's go.